Swing it and sword it. Let's get that booty. What's up, y'all? It is I, Slim Cognito, and uh, yo, I gotta let y'all know something real quick because this ain't gonna be a long episode. Uh, most of the news, it's a lot of news, but a bunch of stuff I just don't care about, bro. Like, I understand some people might be fans of certain things, but it ain't for me. Not everything is. But um, I find that apparently, I'm announcing right here on the podcast, not because of peer pressure, but because I'm sick of hearing about it, I'm just going to go ahead and watch this fucking Squid Game show, all right? I'm tired of it. it. It's 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 everywhere. I'm 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 just gonna sit down and watch. So yeah, that's gonna be official. We're gonna get into that as soon as possible. But more importantly, I wanted to share with y'all is, um, man, I had the this past week. I had the chance to play. A game I never originally completed, which was Resident Evil 1, but um, I've never played the HD version, so I decided to play the uh, the remake, and uh, we started streaming it yesterday, um, yesterday being Thursday, I haven't gone to bed, um, well, Saturday, excuse me, yesterday being Saturday, but um, it was a good time, and I really did enjoy it, it was a legitimate horror game, and I'm surprised that it holds up so well like it does. Um, I think more recent horror games need more survival in their horror. Uh, that being said, I still need to play Resident Evil 8 to see what that's really like. But most of my fam familiar with the series is Resident Evil 2 onward. Now, I haven't finished and we'll be picking that back up most likely either Tuesday or Wednesday. I haven't decided yet. We just, um, this Sunday, going into Monday right now, we've just finished a 12 hour stream of Metroid Dread and it was my first time playing Metroid Dread as, as of those who you know I am huge on Metroid it's one of my favorite series of all time and I would say that Super Metroid is the reason that I got into gaming and loving gaming development you know to this detail however Metroid Dread I'm gonna have some hot takes here that some people just won't agree with but Metroid Dread is a 9.5 out of 10. It is almost perfect. The game is, the, this is the first 2D Metroid that came close to being as good as Super. It's almost equal to Super. And I say that with my chest because everything, I, I didn't get lost ever in the game, but maybe like once and it only took maybe like 20 minutes to find out where to go. Maybe, I'd say maybe 30 minutes. But still, I was, I flew through the game. The on stream, my playthrough was less than eight hours in game time. And I finished, I beat the final boss in less than three tries. Yeah, I, I did it on my third try, I did it on my third try. Now, um. This is not saying that the game was easy or bad. This is me saying that the game was so good, I was in a flow state for hours. For hours, and that's amazing. I, I haven't, I wouldn't fathom a game that could do that, but this one did. And Metro Dread is an amazing fucking game. I can't stress this enough. It's probably the, oh man, it really bumps Metro Fusion down to like, uh, one of the lesser 2D Metroids. It, me, now Metroid Fusion has to sit there with Metroid 1 original and Metroid 2 original because, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, Dread was astounding and I did not expect the lore dumps and the things that was coming throughout that game. Um, if you want to see my reactions and everything and my gameplay, which apparently according to the chat was amazing, then go ahead and check out that vibe. It's going to be there for the next two weeks. Y'all, I was killing it. I had so much fun in that final boss fight. I don't know what else to think about. Like my brain is foggy, but then also I have been awake for way too long now. Um, Next thing I want to get into is just to let y'all know that uh, this coming week, I'm going to take some, because I did a Sunday stream, 
I'm gonna take a separate day off one of these days this week in order to get myself back right because I am a tired individual. But um, we will resume as thus. The very next thing we will resume is Resident Evil. And after that, I'm not entirely sure. But we will see. We will see. Um, all of that being said, man, I think that's everything that needs to be said. So let's jump into the news real quick and get this over with. And I'm going to go to bed. Now, first thing on the docket out of anything that I could even remotely find interesting was um you know what i want to talk about it the new a uh, new world the mmo that i did not give a fuck about and but it was all over the place and marketed all over the place and and amazon didn't want us to forget about it at all well that game has lost hella players in over a month, they lost over 500,000 players in over a month. And apparently, the reasons are vast yet justified. Like, it's so many reasons, it's, it's just busted. Now, according to what I was told, there was a drastic drop because um, there was this like level 30 slump and the first 20 levels um, can be fun but then you started noticing issues after level 20 and around level 30 you go to the higher level zones and just stop and think wow i've been doing the exact same three fetch quests over and over and over again killing the same six mobs over and over and collecting chests from the same copy pasted village for 30 levels and foundation of the new world is really solid and the game could or can be great but it is painful obvious that they rushed it to the point where 70% of the world is straight up copy pasted, including dungeon layouts. And the constant stream of bugs and exploits that, are, that were reported in alpha testing, but they didn't fix in time. I, you know, it's, it's, it seems like, uh, according to one of my good people that I know, which I just got done quoting, uh, it seems like this game was just unfinished and they tried to sell and sell half a game, so. That is a tragic mess. All right, I had to pause the recording, but uh, so I don't remember what the fuck I was just talking about. So I'm just gonna wrap it up and say it like this. Um, Y'all know how I feel about MMOs. I feel like it's a waste of fucking time for the most part. And my many of them have gameplay that's worth the time. And the cyclical nature of the fetch quests and repeating all these actions and all this other shit is usually not worth it. And most of the uh, plot lines are not really like fulfilling as much. Um, and I haven't enjoyed one in a long time. All of that being said, um, I wouldn't mind to find one that does prove me wrong, and I and I would like to find one that does feel like an actual fucking game and not like a plastered together big old networking mess of a game that's hard to manage on the developer side. But uh, otherwise, I honestly am not surprised and don't also give a fuck at all. Like. A New World, they were pushing it so fucking hard, I could tell it was something wrong. I just felt something wrong about it, but there it is. And now that people have it, like, I, I see streamers play it more than people. I don't really hear people giving a fuck about the game either, so there you have it. New World, whatever. Next thing on the topic and on the docket. Metroidvania Bloodstain is still getting more free DLC. It's just a little short announcement just um, that uh, a special crossover content and a new playable character will be coming in the fourth quarter 2020 that was announced back then and in the first quarter 2021. Now there's no clear release time frame as the developers are dealing with major technical issues. So yeah, they're supposed to be still putting together some DLC for Bloodstain. Um, they said they can confirm that this new character is not from the world of Bloodstain, and we have been working closely with a well-known partner to bring their character into the game. As with previous characters, we will be able to explore the entire map through certain abilities. Those certain abilities will need to be acquired before some areas and bosses can be accessed. Along the way, you will be able to increase the rank and class of the character's special ability to grow in power etc so yeah it's supposed to feel exactly like a metrovania should i suppose 
and um, that doesn't look too bad. So we're just gonna have to look on the horizon. It's just a short little article. It's not saying too, too much. Over on PCGamer.com, Prince of Persia, the Sands of Time remake is still happening, but might not be out until 2023. Who knows? And that's fine as long as they fix it because that first trailer, we talked about it several times on the podcast before. I don't want to retread the ground, but I'm just saying it was a little bit ugly and um, it'd be nice if it was cleaned up. So, and if it takes until 2023, then fine. That's good with me. Over on IGN.com, Resident Evil Village set to receive free DLC. Free DLC for Resident Evil Village was announced way back in June 14th. Resident Evil Village had a crazy amount of pre-orders and a lot of sales come release, uh, digital and physical. Everybody loved it from PC to console. There's still some controversy about the PC version. Um, We're not sure if it was fixed or not. I'd have to recap the information because for some reason something tells me that they did get rid of the Denuvo shit. And the other proprietary stuff that was ruined in the performance, but I'm not sure. That might have been like just a, a hopeful dream. I don't remember. But either way, yeah, new uh, DLC is still coming for Resident Evil Village. So if anybody still has their copy, then they might be able to dive right back in. And if it's good enough, I haven't touched it myself yet, but if it's good enough, then maybe they'll touch it again. All right, and over on PCGamer.com, G-Force now works on Xbox, further blurring the lines between consoles and PC. There are notable exceptions to what works, though, in the subtext. And basically, to sum everything up is now that there is a GeForce Now subscription that you can use on your Xbox through the browser, your Microsoft Edge browser on your Xbox, um, you will be available to play a lot more games that are available through Steam and uh, on PC via GeForce Now. But it has the exclusion and the exception of all of the Sony exclusive titles that were ported. So that's just that's just fair and it makes sense and that's fine. And I would like it to be that way because that actually means that you're allowed to play more games without losing the function and without Sony being afraid to move into the PC space more. So yeah, let, let's just say, this, let's count this as a W and uh, I'm glad to see it. Uh, good job, Xbox people. I ain't too big about, you know, playing games through a browser, but you know what I'm saying? Do what y'all gonna do, what it does and do what do. Um, but that's all I got on the docket for today because I'm, I'm looking at a bunch of news and it's just, it's just not that interesting. Fortnite's getting shut down in China in November. Don't really care. Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack trailer is the most disliked video. Duh. And don't really care. Yeah, it's overpriced and there's not enough features and people don't really want to pay that much per year. All right. Um, and, and if they do add more games that you can't emulate and play online, then fine. But according to reviews, uh, shout out to uh, Modern Ventures Gamer. Go ahead and check out his stuff once again. Uh, he does show that the online experience with these classic ROMs leave a lot to be desired that's all i'll say go ahead and check out the video if you want the details and uh yeah uh tencent is spending 1.3 billion uh to try to get a hold of sumo it said oh it's 1.3 billion sumo deal comes under u.s security pro so anyways um yeah they checking out making sure uh tension's on the up and up supposedly but uh i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna leave y'all be ain't gonna hold you up because i am exhausted now, y'all take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next week. And uh, don't forget that uh, we are still going strong. There's going to be some new things coming for the channel and some changes underway. And I hope to see y'all there, and 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 I hope that I will be there. So, y'all, hold tight and, 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 and stay in good graces, y'all. And always remember the channel motto, intentions are the most important. Actions ain't nothing but loud and words. I mean, the damn thing. Y'all take it easy. Peace. And and you know what else is great about this game? You know what's so good about this game thus far? Squat? Anybody else that's in the chat? Bruh. I've done two boss fights. Two boss fights, and I'm gonna I'm gonna call the Emmys mini bosses. I've killed three Emmys and two whole bosses. I only got two energy tanks. That's so good. You have to get good. No, oh, casual filter baby is active. I love that. I love that.